Please go. Good morning. Good morning. Sit down. Good morning. Sit down. Good morning. It's morning or afternoon? It's afternoon. I'm sorry. Okay. Sir. Good afternoon. Yeah. So your name is Ehras. Yes, ma'am. Huh? What does Ehras mean? Ma'am, Ahras means uh, lion, ma'am. Uh, it's from the Berber language in Africa. You would like to remove your mask and talk? Yes, ma'am. Lion in Malayalam? Uh, no, it's an uh, African language known as Berber, ma'am. Okay. And uh, you have done MBBS, so you're a doctor? Yes, ma'am. But it is not written doctor in your bio data. In the name. In Bachelor the name. of Medicine. No, in the name. Ah, yeah. under the name. Okay, when did you finish? 2018. What are, what are you doing now? Are you doing something? I am preparing, uh, ma'am. Uh, from 2018 to 19, I was doing the internship. After that, I worked part time for a short period, and after that, I have been preparing. Uh. So, you are already uh, in a good sector, medical. Yes, ma'am. Now, is finding it very difficult to retain a doctor. Then, why civil service? Uh, ma'am, it is during my MBBS course that uh, I got a lot of opportunity to interact with the community in Alipura. So one thing I realized is that uh, a disease in the community is not only because of bacteria or virus, it is also because of the socio-economic conditions that the people are forced to live in. So I thought as an administrator, uh, I could uh, deal with these issues. While as a doctor, I could deal with each individual diseases and patients, I could uh, deal with the root causes as an administrator. But if you have made a suppose director of sports, then where do you look at the disease in the community? How do you contribute then? Or director of IT, suppose you are made, where do you contribute? Uh, in each sector, there would be uh, areas where I could contribute. Uh, okay, let us take director of IT. Yes, ma'am. So how do you contribute to disease and other things? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, in IT sector, we are moving into digital health missions and uh, we are having uh, e govern uh, e health missions such as e Sanjeevani apps for OPD. Uh, so, uh, uh, in ensuring that digital connectivity reaches all people is very much necessary for social economic development of people. I think I can contribute in that aspect. Uh, but that I'm coding will be done by some coder, not by you. How do you contribute? I mean, real contribution. Like you said that as a MBBS doctor, you are not able to do much yes, in controlling disease and other things. But as a civil servant, you will be able to do much more. Yes, ma'am. So how do you contribute? Suppose you become a collector, but that is maybe one year or maybe two years time. Yes, there also there will be different priorities. Yes, your health may not be the last priority for you. Yes, but as a director IT, I mean this coding will be done by somebody else. How do you contribute? How do you see as contributing? Uh, as, a, as the director, I will be part of the policy making and also uh, implementing the policy and uh, taking the feedback and making necessary uh, corrections in the uh, IT missions ma'am. So I think I can contribute in which, uh, in the, as an IT director also ma'am. Okay, so you are convinced that you will be doing a good job as a civil servant and not as a medical doctor? Uh, I think I can do much more as a civil servant ma'am, that is my conviction. Ma okay, out of pocket expense, have you heard of that? In yes ma'am. What are these? Uh, out of pocket expenditure is the money that an individual spends uh, for availing healthcare from his own pocket. Uh, so it is a uh, uh, high in uh, India, it's more than 50 percentage in India and that is one of the uh, reasons that healthcare is not affordable to all the people, ma'am. So what is being done <coughs> to reduce this uh, out-of-pocket expense? Is there some step has been taken by government policies? Uh, yes, ma'am. One major step taken is the Aishman Bharat uh, mission, ma'am. As pa part of the Aishman Bharat, we have insurance scheme, uh, which is 5 lakhs per family. But that is only for hospital admissions. It doesn't take care of medicine outside. And it is only for hospital admission, not a tertiary tank. Yes, ma'am. For medicines, we have uh, we have been pushing for generic medicines, which would have a lesser cost compared to a branded drug. So that would be more affordable to the people if you are shifting to generic medicines. Also, through primary health centers, we are providing medicines uh, in the primary uh, in the uh, uh, OP sector. In the primary health center, we are providing uh, free medicines and healthcare facilities. But if every doctor thinks that he should go for civil service, then who will manage the primary sector? Uh, I think some doctors, uh, at least a small but section, should be part of the policy making, and the larger section can continue in the healthcare sector. So, so that you want be. to get out of the doctor giving providing the healthcare, and you want to be in the policy making, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, you would like to watch stand-up comedy. Yes, ma'am. What type of stand-up comedy? Uh, Indian standard comedy, ma'am. No, no, that's okay. But uh, Hindi, English? Uh, English primarily, ma'am. Okay. Which one, whom you are following in uh, Indian? Uh, 
so Kenneth Sebastian is one of my favorite stand up comedians man he's uh, from kerala he's from kerala man okay anybody else on the all india uh, veer das is a, a favorite uh, indian comedian man okay Can you follow yeah. up, ma'am? I'm jumping to things. Yeah. What is your opinion on Munawar Farooqi's arrest? I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, Munawar Farooqi has been arrested. Uh, so, uh, my opinion is that... Uh, uh, he was not just arrested, he stayed in jail for 35 days. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so uh, my, my opinion is that uh, the reasonable restriction on speech is uh, those restrictions that has been given in article 192 of the indian constitution uh, and uh, my personal opinion is that a joke uh, uh, especially uh, i've seen munawar farooqi's uh, comedy and uh, none of that is uh, can be told to be uh, they are within the reasonable restrictions uh, so i think uh, we should not uh, we should not uh, take such harsh measures on comedians because it is an art form and uh, we should let it uh, take its way ma'am unless it is uh, uh, it is against article 92 of the constitution ma'am photography is an art form yes ma'am if somebody takes a nude photograph which is aesthetically very pleasing of a woman is that also okay it should not be subject to reasonable restrictions uh, nude photography is uh, is also an without art without consent without consent it cannot be allowed ma'am uh, because it is the uh, but it's art Uh, but uh, without consent, it would be against Article Twenty One of the person whose uh, uh, photo uh, is being taken, ma'am. But with consent, a uh, nude photography is uh, also an art form. So but those jokes were with consent. Yes, sorry, ma'am. Those jokes which were made were with consent. Uh, no, this in this case, the in the what is the accusation against him? Sedition. So, in, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, you know, it's uh, in in that the joke. was against a community yeah. he insulted a community you know what takes precedence freedom of speech or the public ha ah. public peace i said that when straight you have to take that call yes ma'am okay where do you where what would you do? Oh. it is a complex issue ma'am and it is important to find the balance ma'am uh, in uh, each uh, each particular case we'll have to uh, see what is yes, the extent of the final case uh, of rust yes ma'am uh, in this particular case ma'am uh, my understanding of the case is that uh, the person has had not actually made the joke it was only an accusation that he was going to make the joke in a particular uh, event ma'am uh, so in that particular case i'm not uh, i think it is not uh, fair to arrest him uh, for a joke he did not make ma'am Uh, but if the joke is uh, uh, say inciting uh, violence or if it's against the uh, particular community uh, as in article 92 uh, then i think that could be stopped so he should have been arrested earlier no if he after he made the joke he should or have after he made the joke so that is contempt if he made the joke uh, if and when uh, if yes, and when only after the offense that's what you are saying yes ma'am it was a perception so it's no longer an art form if you are arrested afterwards uh it's 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 going beyond the uh, reasonable restriction that an art form is supposed to uh, comply by ma'am so then, if a person intends to commit a murder yes, then he should not be arrested but after he commits the murder he can be arrested uh, no ma'am no offense has to happen no mens rea is also very criminal thing mens rea is very important oh. yeah But there may be a mens rea. No, I'm just asking the line of thinking yeah, yeah. that it is okay after the offence happens, but before the offence happens, there should not be anything preventive. Uh, so suppose you are a deputy commissioner, district collector, yes, I think it's called here, that you have a reasonable anticipation of a riot. Yes, will you go in for preventive arrest, or will you say that let the riot happen only then the offence is committed? So I will go for a preventive arrest, ma'am. No, uh, why? Why difference in that? Uh, uh, Ma'am, I was trying to uh, protect the freedom of a person uh, for speech and expression, uh, as it is an art form, mm-hmm. uh, and also uh, because uh, seeing the past, uh, as much as I have seen uh, this person's art form, uh, it is uh, he makes jokes about religion and politics, but I have never felt that it is beyond the uh, reasonable restrictions that he must uh, comply with. So uh, that is why I made this decision, ma'am. But that line where my 
my nose begins at the, <laughs> the tip of your yeah which is that line it, it is very difficult to find the line ma'am mm. uh, and uh, we would have to take a decision uh, with respect to as ma'am said if it's a riot condition that uh, we are sure that a riot is going to happen if something uh, a, a meeting is going to take place we'll have to prevent that but if it's a joke that somebody is going to make and uh, it it offends a section of people i think uh, this uh, right to speech uh, right to freedom of speech and expression should prevail you have listened to him has he criticized uh, people of his faith or uh, gods or religious god mm. of his faith man yeah yes ma'am uh, the one side of uh, the one side of listen so you him. don't believe there was a communal anger here or you believe there's a communal anger I don't believe there is a communal anger, man. Uh, he, I have seen him uh, criticizing. No, 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 no. The arrest that took place was there a communal anger, or was it purely from the law and order perspective that it was taken? Uh, I think the arrest was taken to prevent the law and order situation from taking place, man. Uh, so. Uh, when he makes a, a comment uh, the people might think there is a communal anger to it and there might be uh, law and order issues and just to prevent that law and order issue that the arrest was uh, arrest had taken place now okay. Uh, okay you wanted to you came into civil service or you, you took civil service as an option yes, because you wanted to address the root causes yes. right so will you agree with me that uh, the socio economic impact of covid has resulted in uh, job losses and wage losses would you agree with the, as a general statement yes ma'am yes? yes, ma so what would you do to expand the job market in india yes ma'am uh, the first thing uh, to do is that uh, to improve the uh, uh, the human resource in india ma'am we have a huge demographic dividend that can we can use if we have the proper health education and skill development uh, the skill development should be uh, able to address uh, the emerging uh, technologies and research and uh, so we'll be in a position to use the opportunities that will come in uh, second uh, in the i asked what would you do so would you be able to do this thing if you are in a civil service at the, at the lower level at the district level we can make uh, we can implement skill development courses for the students uh, along with the uh, uh, formal education and also uh, we could uh, uh, we could uh, j uh, provide job oriented courses for the people ma'am uh, also at the uh, lower level uh, i could uh, try to uh, promote startups and entrepreneurship by providing capitals and policy support uh, for the people what uh, kind of policy support Uh, one major issue uh, when uh, a person starts a uh, startup is the, uh, there is a lot of uh, from the authorities uh, it is very uh, hard to get the uh, approval or a uh, uh, license and all that uh, we can streamline we can improve the ease of doing business so that people uh, can start a uh, startup uh, more easily mm -hmm. also uh, getting credit is a major issue so uh, in that line also we can uh, make uh, arrangements uh, so those are some things i can do at the district level uh, to provide uh, employment mm -hmm. so uh, what are the uh, what is panchamrit yes what you ate just now huh? what you ate just now mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it is in the specific context of climate change yes yes uh, panchamrit is uh, panchamrit is the uh, is a climate change goals we have set for ourselves sir uh, so uh, there are set of five goals uh, including uh, reaching uh, uh, net uh, carbon neutrality by 2070 the other goals are uh, that 50% of our energy uh, would be from non uh, fossil fuel sources and that be 500 gigawatts of renewable energy production uh, those are the ones i remember sir there are two more panchamrit goals sir. okay uh, so do you think uh, uh, india has be uh, as rightly put forward this goals uh, taking into account its own development needs uh, yes uh, india has always uh, stood by the principle of uh, common but differential responsibility where as a developing nation we had more responsibility to uh, take our people out of poverty and produce employment uh, but uh, by taking uh, such a uh, Uh, such a wide range of goals uh, we have uh, we have 
shown our commitment towards climate change and also because India is a country which is particularly affected by climate change and its effect. Uh, I think India has uh, done a right move by, uh, by uh, taking the Panjama goals for ourselves. Uh, overall, with respect to Kerala's health sector, what do you think are the main challenges that Kerala is going to face in the coming two decades? Yes, sir. Uh, one major challenge is that uh, there is a shift in the nature of diseases. Communicable diseases uh, and non-communicable diseases are becoming prevalent. Non-communicable diseases are causing more mortality today in Kerala. Uh, another issue is that geriatric population in Kerala is increasing. Uh, so there should be healthcare uh, needs that would arise for this old age population that we would have to uh, take care. Mental health care is another issue that is emerging as a major challenge uh, and uh, Kerala has the highest suicide rate which is an indicator of the uh, low mental health status of the people. So I think uh, we should be investing in these areas and also in palliative care because we are having higher sec a higher section of old age people and higher sector of uh, diseases like cancers. So uh, those would be the various uh, challenges in the next two decades we have to face. With, sir. What about lifestyle diseases? Yes ma'am, uh, like as part of the lifestyle, uh, I meant that uh, in the non-communicable diseases, these lifestyle diseases would also be accounted for. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, despite Kerala being God's own country, as you rightly pointed out, it has a very high suicide rate, why? Yes sir. So, uh, various reasons has been uh, attributed to this. One is the high uh, stress levels and high competition in Kerala. Uh, for, uh, there's uh, high unemployment rate in Kerala. Uh, there is also uh, the uh, focus on mental health care uh, is less in Kerala uh, as much as it should be because we have a, a very good health infrastructure we should be focus we should be using this health infrastructure uh, to focus on mental health care but that is not happening as much as it should have uh, so those would be the major reasons that uh, suicide rate is increasing there is also a gender aspect uh, these uh, suicides due to uh, dowry related issues and uh, violence against women is also increasing. So in spite of you know, Kerala having uh, achieved so much with respect to you know uh, having uh, almost at par literacy rates for female and women, for men, men and women, still why do you feel that uh, there is increasing cases of you know violence against women being reported in Kerala? Uh, uh, although uh, the uh, indicators such as uh, the uh, literacy rates uh, and the sex ratio of Kerala is better. In the society, we can see that there is still a, a, a lack of a gender sensitivity. Uh, people see a woman as a, a weaker section. Uh, so, uh, in homes, we can see that. In society, in workplaces, we can see that. And it is this uh, social uh, perception of women that is the primary cause of violence against women. Uh, that would be the primary cause. Have you watched the Great Indian Kitchen? Yes, sir. So, what do you understand from there? So, uh, in the film, what I understood is, sir, uh, the uh, even in Kerala, uh, the status of women, especially within a family and within a household, uh, is uh, not very uh, good. Uh, they are forced to do unpaid work, uh, care work, and they are not allowed to uh, take a, a rise up to their potential in terms of employment and education. Uh, and uh, a lot of women itself believe that this is the right thing for women, and that those are some things that they have uh, understood from the Indian Okay, thank you. Okay, I would just ask one question based on what you said: high yes. stress and competition yes. of people. Aren't we, isn't Kerala government giving 99.99% pass in a Yes ma'am. So where is the stress coming from? Uh, although uh, I think the stress has moved from uh, from an SLC level to uh, say uh, uh, admission to, uh, and, uh, to uh, and, uh, this medicine and engineering courses. Engineering seats are going vacant. Sorry ma'am? Engineering seats are going vacant. Yes, ma'am. But uh, there is a perception that some engineer there is uh, some engineering colleges are uh, perceived as better, and only those engineering uh, courses are said to be uh, uh, ideal. So people are trying to get into these limited seats. Uh, in MBBS, also that is happening. Also in employment, because we have a high unemployment rate, ma'am, uh, the uh, competition to get a job in Kerala is also very high. My uh, second question is: inspirational Hollywood movies are your. Yes, your hobbies are open to a number of questions. <laughs> yeah. 
Now tell us some inspirational Hindi movies you have seen. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I have seen uh, Chakti India, Udan, Dangal, etc. Which uh, what about Kashmiri files? I have read about the films, sir, uh, ma'am, but I have not seen the films, sir, ma'am. That may not be very inspirational at the time. <laughs> Don't know how you how do you define inspiration in the in terms of inspiration, individual inspiration. Like all these films you mentioned, is ah, it sports films? Sports Chakra, films. Dangal, okay, so now final one sports question. What's the big sports news of today? Today's news. Uh, the uh, men's badminton team uh, had one uh, prestigious uh, cup, ma'am. That is the. Uh, that is the. Uh, that's the main news. Uh, what here. cup is it called? I believe You're it's called Thomas Cup. I believe. Uh, <laughs> it is all over the news. <laughs> you are a sports person. Okay, now, what, why, you, 73 years in this cup has been formed, now India wins. Was there any bureaucratic, political, whatever intervention to bring India this cup, which you would like to bring? You are a sports person, you will be secretary in sports, as Madam said, one day. What steps would you like to do? Uh, to improve sports in general, man, or uh, for the Thomas Cup? Whether it's Thomas or whether it's Coco, you take Coco. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, the first step would be uh, provide opportunities uh, for training from the school level itself. We should be able to identify uh, specific, talent. Specific, specific. Even today, government is doing. These are all things which are being done. Yeah. 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 I used to be secretary of sports. These yeah. things we are doing. So be specific. So long. So what has what have you done correctly for badminton? Uh, I'm that not they sure. could win. I'm not sure, ma'am. But Coco. Chakde, like Chakde, ah. if you, that is your inspirational film, you should be able to know. Or oh, what are we not doing for Coco? But then Coco is not played by many countries, right? Yes, then so you don't have a cup like that. Mm -hmm. So which there's some one more game you play, no? No, ma'am. Only Coco. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I see. Coco so, is uh, in Commonwealth Games. Coco is there. Kabaddi is there. Uh, Coco is not there in the Commonwealth Games, man. It's there in the South Asian Games. Oh, one game it is there. Yeah, it's not there is games. an international. There is an international competition. So, 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 so. Let it, let, no, but then when you are in sports uh, directorate or uh, government, you can't distinguish between Coco. You can't discern. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ma so let's take a popular game, football. How yes. does India get into feeding? What steps should be taken? Or what I my question was how did we get the Thomas Cup? Did India do something or did those individual sportsmen went ahead and won the cup? Uh, I'm not sure about the Thomas Cup uh, badminton ma'am, but I think generally what should be done is that we need world class infrastructure and world class coaches, ma'am, and there should be exposure to uh, international events uh, as uh, for the uh, sports pe uh, people in India, ma'am. All of which we are doing. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so something we did for badminton. I'm not sure, ma'am. I look into it. Okay. So you have written watching inspiration of Hollywood movies. Yes. So you understand the movies inspiration after you watch it or before you watch it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. As uh, I usually read the reviews of uh, films and uh, okay. uh, based on the plot, I watch the films. So what is a horror movie or a horror historical movie or a biographical movie? What's the problem you watch it? Uh, there's no problem, uh, sir, but uh, as it's my hobby, that is the thing that I do in my free time. Uh, the films that I like to watch in my free time is the uh, inspirational ones, sir. So, which all Hollywood movies are the best one? Inspiration for you? So, uh, The Pursuit of Happiness is the uh, film that most inspired me, sir, that I watch again and again, sir. Uh, so, uh, other movies, like uh, recently I saw a film called King Richard. Uh, which is uh, based on uh, uh, Richard Williams, who was the father of Serene and Venus Williams, which I found very inspirational, sir. Uh, th uh, those are the movies I watch, sir. Whose uh, clothing brand is Arena's? Uh, I don't know, sir. sir. A -A 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 -S. Uh, I don't know, sir. sir. Right. So, you said that the, the suicide rate in Kerala is high. Because the amount of uh, competition is high, yes, the number, the, 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 the percentage of unemployment is high, yes. uh, because of our gender sensitivity is less, yes. then one more point was there. The unemployment issue. Unemployment, okay. So how do you rate a city like Mumbai or Calcutta different from Kerala? 
whatever you said is much more there competition is too heavy even for a state like karnataka or a state like maharashtra the competition will be too heavy the amount of unemployment will be too heavy. the domestic violence and other things will be there but what is the difference which makes kerala the, the capital of suicide or is it because we are reporting it in reality is it so uh, all the reasons you said are not specific to kerala yes, even if you go to chennai for getting a seat in iit madras is too difficult yes, so the competition is too heavy there yes. is something else Thought in the feedback. Yeah. Now you can think: Is there something else which is causing the suicide? No, he says it is underreporting by others. Is that is it so? Is it so? Is it so? It may be. Is yeah, it so? That, that uh, suicides happening in across the the heartlands of India are not reported, like a place like UP, where there are 21 crore people. Even the percentage-wise, if Kerala one person dies. even if it in up it's point 001 will be much bigger number than kerala is it that it's not reported they don't commit suicide they are happy yeah that's what i want to say there are sports levels yeah it's the aspirational level yes ma'am yeah and that is causing all the stress yes ma'am keeping up with the neighbors who have gone to gulf and got money but i can't afford to have you gone through main main cases which the child children have committed suicide in the maybe in the recent past 6 months or 8 months children most of the cases i will tell you one reason a mother has called at the child for watching mobile from morning till evening she hmm. asked to switch off the mobile go and study or go do something else since the mobile was snatched from him she went and suicide another child suicide because he couldn't go for a picnic he couldn't go because the father said sit back बॉम्बे Last year comes to Trivandrum. Sir, I am not aware of any uh, report saying. Uh, I mean, if there is an under reporting in other parts, I am not sure. Sir, I will be right. So you you said about uh, global warming. Is global warming a reality or is it a hype created by some particular people only to create an international burning issue? Global warming means that it, it happened across the globe from the from the old age. Yes. This interglacial period will be there. temperature will increase at some point of time then the entire ice will melt then another ice age will happen so this process continues for long this is not the first time it's happening you are a geography student you really know this so is global warming a true true reality sir uh, climate change and global warming has uh, happened throughout the earth's history but uh, what is different now is that it is happening at a rate uh, which is higher and it is caused due to anthropogenic uh, factors Uh, and uh, global scientific bodies that such as the intergovernmental panel for climate change has uh, put out scientific literature which says that there is uh, global warming there is anthropogenic causes for the global warming and it's going to affect can you believe all these agencies even over a period of this time this is the seventh time global warming is happening yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and even a course of time even we don't believe who because we don't know what they are saying each day one day they will come and say something in the next day they will say something at a later point of time if Uh, corona itself is found to be a hoax nobody will be uh, in, in an utter confusion so can you believe all these international agencies they have their own agenda uh, i uh, i believe we should believe the international agencies we should uh, see uh, we can review the scientific literature we can uh, find uh, any uh, valid uh, arguments and we can put that forward but uh, Uh, that is being already done. Uh, there are peer reviews for these uh, scientific works, and uh, it is uh, uh, in scientific level and also in the terms of uh, what is happening to the people and uh, the effects of climate change is also being felt uh, by people all over the world. So, so I think climate change is a reality, and we should uh, uh, take that into consideration. We need the international bodies. Fine. One last question. When we go to schools, we see a lot of global maps are there, world maps are there, है ना? so world maps means that it's not to the proportion you are a geography student you obviously knows yes. a, 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 an island which is one third of africa like greenland is it's being shown as one big thing yes. equal to the geographical area of africa yes 
So, uh, what is the real problem with the maps? Is there any real problem in geography? Are we creating a wrong notion or sense to the minds of the kids which comes to the schools? I'm not sure about the doctor and the pigeons, sir. Thank you. Okay. I actually yeah. let me ask you something in the day. Yeah. Is your subjects were medicine, we asked you medicine, geography, we asked you geography. Let me ask you about uh, India. You know about the non aligned policy we had? Yes, sir. Yeah? Non alignment, you studied about it in yes. school, I suppose. Now we are in a post Cold War world. Cold War no longer exists. Should we remain non aligned in today's world? NATO says it is not relevant now. Uh, I want to know what are us. No, no, sir. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, uh, some of the elements of non-alignment, such as uh, strategic autonomy, mm. uh, uh, protecting the sovereignty of the country, a uh, uh, goal towards a uh, nuclear-free world, uh, all of those, uh, and uh, reforming the uh, global economic system uh, and the uh, UN bodies, all of those are relevant, ma'am. Uh, but. Uh, we should not. Uh, we should uh, also take the consideration that uh, we can uh, multi element is the uh, is the thing that we are doing now, ma'am. Uh, rather than strictly saying that there are two uh, friends and not aligning with anybody, we are aligning with uh, whichever uh, whichever country or body that would be better for the national interest, ma'am. So in every case, we can think about our national priorities and make the decision, ma'am. With this, I have a small doubt on this. So in the Ukraine issue, was it non-alignment or alignment? Well, what was our stand? India's stand? What was it reality? Were we aligned with Russia? Or, or we played only for our benefit? We got our kids, our, every people back, we are happy. Uh, we did not align with Russia, sir. We took a neutral stand. Uh, but also we condemned the humanitarian crisis and also uh, the Prime Minister has uh, continuously asked for a uh, cessation of hostilities and uh, diplomacy uh, to uh, find a solution. But Russia was the only country who came to help at many of the critical junctures when India had problem. So our Russia is an old friend of us also. Yes, sir. So we don't uh, give it back once an issue comes. So that is one of the considerations we took when we uh, uh, did not, uh, we, uh, we were marked as absent when uh, the uh, votes in the UNS, the UNSC and the Human, Human Rights Commission came in. So, uh, but we will also have to see that the West is also an important ally for uh, India. And we would have to balance both the West and Russia for our national priorities, sir. This was a very pragmatic approach, eh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I have to ask a question because it's you. Do you think it's time for India now to have a uniform civil code? So many years of the independence. Uh, so, uh, the constitution does uh, say that uh, we need the uniform civil code. But and they didn't implement it so far. Yes. 75 years. Yes. I think uh, uh, it is uh, time that we start the uh, pro uh, processes that are needed for uniform civil code because uh, there are a lot of uh, debates and uh, discussion that should happen so that we can have a uniform civil code that all of India can agree upon. So the uh, discussion should start now so that we can have a uniform civil code in the near future. Sir. So what kind of discussions and what forum do you think should happen? Uh, so the parliament should be the uh, primary forum for discussion. Yeah. Uh, we could introduce a draft bill which can be discussed and it can also be uh, sent for public consultation. Uh, we can have parliamentary committees for discussion and so with this discussion we can uh, we can come to a draft uh, civil court which we can all uh, agree upon. Good. Good. Thank you, Arun. Thank you. Are with us? Yes, or, uh, yes, which sir. questions you thought you answered very badly? The uh, stand-up comedy part, I think I should have made my points more clear. No, you should prepare for that. Yes, it will come because <laughs> stand-up comedy, you are, you are very so very good. Another thing, uh, you, are, you are totally different from your yes. photograph which you have given. You are shaven and all. So I you should, I, I, you will do that. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Because otherwise they will say you are not the same person. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you don't have specs in the photo. Yeah. <laughs> so what will you do? I will remove the specs for the uh, identification. You can see it properly there. No, just for the identification I can remove ma'am. I can't see properly without the specs. So why did you put a picture mm -hmm. like this? Uh, because I was planning on changing the specs ma'am. So then that would be... That so you take also. another photograph where you have a specs and you show it to the UPSC thing. So okay. that at least yeah. specs are no specs because yes, that you do that. Yes, Can I be able to? 
Yes. You carry with it yes. any photograph which has an identification with the aspects. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. You did not do very well on the sports thing also, you know. Yes. So these were the two things. Otherwise, your body language and all. But you keep on looking at one person, whoever has asked the question. Yes. You should look around here and there. Yes. Otherwise, I think others will give you the opinion. So you have to improve. Yes. Because you you have lot of things for asking question. <laughs> Medical, yes. geography, mm -hmm. climate change. Yes. And you speak a lot also, so yeah. you know, yeah. close your yeah. And uh, you are this thing, you know, watching inspirational. <laughs> which I think <laughs> you ask very well whether you, you get know. inspired before or after. <laughs> so some uh, some films you have to be ready. Yes. I know. Okay. One thing is I like is that. Uh, you but you sat still, didn't move very much, didn't fidget at all. And uh, I think your knowledge level is pretty good in terms of you know every question which threw at you on different subjects, yeah. you have a fairly reasoned reply. Mm -hmm. uh, it may not always be the exact right reply, but nothing looked rehearsed, nothing looked this, it was your opinion. But the way you articulate it, you articulate it like a textbook. Yes. That is something which you, even though it, uh, I feel that these are your, you formulated an opinion in your head, maybe from reading it all, that's fine. But when you say it is as though you are saying, you know, ta -ta 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 -ta, you are saying, uh, like so, a memorized thing. Like a memorized thing. So yes. that is, you know, little bit process, let it be a little more natural in your articulation. Then there is also the uh, 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 which South Indians do, yes, which is something which you can avoid. I otherwise the content of your replies I was I was it was except for one or two answers. Then we tried to circle. Then we tried to write you, you didn't get to write it. He tried to almost interrogate you. You didn't get to write it. You were very good. There's one question for me, even I need that answer. Who owns arena or something? Ah, that is Arena's. Arena's is nothing. It's Arena written back. Oh, that is, oh, oh, oh. That is Arena's one. <laughs> King Richard didn't carry it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the clothing brand. Arena's father only. Yeah, yeah. King so Richard. Arena's is the uh, yeah. clothing brand, brand by Sarina. Even the map thing, I did not know the answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, no, map. Then he should know. That is yeah. a basic job. I am not from the geography part. In geography, what happens, Anna, it's, it's a Eurocentric world. All the maps were created by Europeans only. So wherever Europe is there, they give more prominence to Europe. So they, they made it big, everything that happened. Europe is big. Is that a real thing or a conspiracy thing? No, no, it's original. <laughs> because Greenland is only one way That is partially correct, sir. That uh, basically Europe, that's why it's in the north. Mm -hmm. The west is generally in the north. Actually, we can turn it around. Yeah, we can turn it around. The yeah. same thing only. But there's another reason is the Mercator projection. The Mercator projection means that the 3D sphere is, when it is like projected it. to 2D, Automatically, the land masses that are there at the top will look bigger. Will look bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That percentage will be. Okay. Okay. So, I think most of your answers were good. I think the word filler that the way you say uh, 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 yes. that, I think you can use some word filler for that, or you can pause. Yes. Giving yes. a pause in your diction would you know, you know, make, make the interview feel that yes, uh, you're giving it with some sort of yeah. uh, emotion or, a, yes. or uh, some tonality will be there in your uh, in the way you give your answer. Yes. Then, uh, I think that uh, that question regarding suicide, you know, that's a very typical question. Yes. Why suicide rates are high in Kerala? Just like and you went and fell into it. Oh, you went into the question, mental health and all that. So, so, so the reason is that you have to give some specific reason in Kerala context. You can give lots of reasons, like dead trap in Kerala. You know, everybody wants to build a house. They take a borrow a loan. So that is one thing. Consumerism, the state of anomie, normlessness. Kerala society is rapidly changing. So old social values is disintegrating. So uh, when that happens, support structures are not there in the society as they used to be. So all these are you know, multiple reasons that you can pinpoint. It's mostly a sociological answer actually. But still, if you think it from that perspective, you know, some of those answers if you can give, give out on no? so it. Though the question, the answer basically that why suicide rates are not so high in UP, mm -hmm. you can give a, you know, uh, you have to have some careless specific contextual answer for this. That is questions. what he was pointing out, that whether you take background Mumbai, most of the reasons which you are giving are true of these big uh, growing cities. So what makes Kerala unique in that particular? Social milieu, what is yeah. it? Yeah. Social yeah. because there is a high rate of suicide in Japan. No? Mm. Because of the social pressure. I think social. I think social. Yeah. Uh, Japan is uh, something you can expect. Right? No because pressure. Because, because of the pressure. Social pressure. pressure. Social pressure. Yes. So you, should, you think about those answers. So Kerala based questions uh, is th thoroughly studied well. Mm -hmm. I mean all the current affairs, also these typical questions like why Kerala is called God's own country, all these uh, typical questions. So I think if you focus on those areas, I think you should manage and 
your optionals medical sciences sorry your options geography yes. so things related to geography uh, it's you know geopolitics things like that some uh, climate you know, change yeah, this associate questions will certainly come yes. and medical sciences also you should study well yes. okay so all the best uh, i think with some more uh, practice i think you can do well thank you sir no um yeah afras afras you as we all said you should prepare for some, you you answer the uniform civil code your approach is good yeah. is very good yeah and um, uh, in the sense that you did not feel yourself marginalized you did not identify with your community yes. which is something very good which is exactly what an all india service officer should be so that approach and all the answers that you have formulated in your head we saw in that we i we ask the council could probably be citizenship back or whatever which are uh, which we so start which you may have a personal opinion mm-hmm. but the opinion you mentioned carry here and that's the rule right yes. and that's exactly what you should say focus on dialogue focus on con- you know and <coughs> and saying that parliament is supreme in all this because even in the farmers agitation that was issue everywhere highlight that so in that respect you're very good but open yourself you have you open yourself to a whole lot of questions mm-hmm. about this mm-hmm. and i first course you must read up and the rest uh and geography you want to know <laughs> yeah the unusual things which yes it yeah you have yeah, just like a book like it. but but your knowledge on the medical side is very good yeah okay ahara uh, so overall it was good for me you are a confident candidate as far as i am concerned only thing as ma'am and uh, jeremy sir has pointed out is that uh, the, the panel should also feel that you are thinking and delivering that the panel should not feel that the, this guy has everything in his mind and he is just delivering no the, so there should be some pauses in between that would be great your presentation was good there will be people who will be irritating trying to irritate you there will be people who will be trying to bombard you but you are so cool you are so good so be cool are the people who are sitting on this side we have our own agenda it doesn't matter you yes you have your own agenda you should prepare for the, for that yes, because you have to pass the exam so what all comes be cool be soft do it nothing more than kindly focus on uh, one thing was ma'am has asked uh, thomas cup so that thing the problem is that it's all across all newspapers in india so today choice of word i believe <laughs> yeah so the thing is that it's thomas cup uber cup superman superman cup there's a lot of things there so they may not ask about thomas cup they can ask about something else yes. so that particular day or two days before whatever is happening in the main scenario kindly go through it because that, that, that that's a bonus question for us yeah that's about and, and there was a malayali in that group mm. you know right. the name Ah, pranoy pranoy it's pranoy it's pranoy it's pranoy pranoy it's 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 show uh, afghanistan uh, and come that day it was doomed huh? that day it was doomed no, yeah. why did it happen <laughs> so the thing is that even yesterday they can ask about the i league so because a club from kerala has won i league in a consecutive day correct correct so so these all can because as i said and these are bonus for the candidate correct not yes. for the interview board so these are things which you can easily handle because when i went for interview that day there were large number of retirements in kerala okay that was on april uh, 31st mm-hmm. the 30, may 1st so they suddenly uh, something great happened in your financial sector yesterday mm-hmm. so i really don't know what happened <laughs> in the financial sector <laughs> then suddenly i said that sir yesterday there was this large number of people ha ha it caused a heavy burden on your treasury oh okay, great <laughs> but you see the presence of mind ha ha that presence so of mind so basically now. that can be asked that will be great great boon for us so apart from that things were okay slightly more on geography because we are bound to answer geography because yes. it's your option yes. other than that things are fine great the last one week newspaper because you know the rain imd all these type of question the predictions are all going wrong they said trivandrum will be my daughter sent me a message it seems it is heavily raining in trivandrum i said not at all it is sunny here so something like that what are the models being used for prediction something like that yes. all these things so you go through your biodata plus you come from a minority community 
so that type of sensitive question people generally don't ask but <coughs> they may will you on hisab issue or the azan issue something like that people may like to say whether you support or the hijab the hijab and hijab. azan also yeah so the, the judgment on hijab yeah. and uh, loud speakers also that has become a very talking point everywhere in north india yes. so i think overall it is quite good you are a good candidate Anything you want to ask us? No. We have given you enough. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, most of all. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.